Hi. So, uh, my last video was about making a dread. Now I'm going to show you some dread styles. Um, I started doing it in the last video, but I edited it out because it was like 16 minutes long already. So, first you do the dread braid, which is my favorite dready hairstyle, which is why I'm doing it first. It's not the easiest one. It's not exactly hard, though. I don't, there are no hard things to dreads. I don't know. So you, so I don't know how to do it in the back. I've never been able to braid the back of my hair, even when I have regular hair. So you pull all your hair over to one side, and you section it all. Oh, look at all that loose hair. And then I take this one, the back one first, because they're shorter because they've been wrapped around your head. And then you just. do it really tight. I don't take anything out of my dreads to do this either. I think it looks cool to have stuff in your hair. On my birthday each year. Oh, this one looked better anyway than the last one that I did. And then you take a hair tie. Mother might just let me go. And then like with the loose ones, I kind of pull on them a little bit. And then I just tuck them into the braid. Because that's the great thing about having dreads is you stick together. So you don't need to really bobby pin it. I mean, I guess you could. But yeah, that's fine. So, and then just tuck the loose ones into the braid. Ah, pretty, right? Love it. It's a great thing about having long dreads. You can do more with them. So pretty. Um, another one that you can do... You can even do a small braid. Alright, you can even see my face. So, you just take... I mean, I guess you could just take three and braid them together. just have like a braid in your hair. That one's fun. Um, and then I like to put my hair in a bun and you can do just like a regular bun back here but I like to do a high bun. So you go upside down. You can't see me but that's what I'm doing. I'm going upside down. And then you have all the dreads on top of your head. And then I don't like it to be that high, so I put it a little lower. Can you even see that? And then I wrap it around each other like this. Can you see that? I really hope you can see that. Sorry if you can't. And then... It. Like this is kind of popular, it's been kind of popular lately to have the big bun on top of your head. You can usually make it look cuter than that, but yeah, that's easy. Okay, um, ponytails, just like a regular ponytail. Uh, what else can you do with your hair with threads? There is a lot. I don't really do a lot though. You can do two braids. Never done this. But like like uh what's the name of that girl who has really red hair and she has the two braids? The Pippi Longstocks? Is that who I'm thinking of? Pippi Longstocks? Freckles on her nose, dear little dear a girl came riding into town one day, dear little sh <laughs> I feel silly, but whatever. Ignore the pimple on my chin, please. 
And now, those of you who didn't know this is, I'm gonna go look for it and see it. Shouldn't have said anything. I have the problem of pointing out things I don't want people to notice. Nope. Hurts though, it's one of those ones that's under the skin. I was finally able to pop it yesterday, but okay, I should stop talking about popping nipples because that's gross. There! Now I'm Pippi Longstock. That is her name, right? Uh, what else? You can tie your hair back. Like with the dreads themselves, which is cool, I think. And you can really style it like regular hair, so anything else that you can do with your regular hair, you can do with this. Except, I don't know, can you curl dreads? That would be cool if you could curl them. I used to like to do. Um, I used to like to do curly hair when I had curlable hair. Okay, I'm done with this video now. <laughs> Thanks for watching.